Hey guys, how you doing? I uh, just wanted to talk about a couple subjects today, and most of it uh, involves my uh, solar generator that I have here, the Jeep. Um, really kind of disappointed because today I wanted to do some experimenting with this little Sunbeam uh, ceramic heater. Uh, and just, you know, see how long it would last, how long I could keep this based on the, uh, uh, the battery bank I have in here. And um, what I'm disappointed with is for the second time now, I have left the uh, power inverter that's inside here, I've left it switched on. You know, which is really stupid. Uh, the first time I did it, it was switched on for like three weeks, maybe a little bit less than that. But I came, I oh, I came in here. I hadn't been in. This was way. This was way back in the uh, early fall, and I had gone on a uh, a camping trip, and you know, left it switched on. Now this was when you know there was a lot more daily sunlight, but. Uh, nothing was powered up. It was just the converter switch or the inverter switched on. And I opened the door to the Jeep and I heard the uh, the uh, the alarm on the power inverter going off. And my battery bank was was really low. And you know, obviously, what happened? You know, if you have a an inverter switched on, even though they're not using anything, it's still drawing power. And uh, I was kind of worried about my bank because the, uh, uh, the the voltage level was pretty low. It was in the 11s. So, you know, obviously switched it off. <clears throat> and, you know, within a day, the uh, solar panel brought the, brought the battery bank right back up to where it should be, which is like 13.6 or 13.7. I mean, that's its normal... Uh, that's the normal voltage level for the fully charged battery bank. Um, so I came out here today and I realized I, I, I freaking did it again. Uh, I left the 300 watt pure sign inverter on and it's probably been on for a week and you know no alarms were going off but uh, here I'll show you. I'm at 12.5 volts on my uh, battery bank, and then, like I said, it should be like it should be 13.5. And uh, so I went to run the uh, run the heater for a little while, and this thing went this thing went way down. I mean, there's just not a, not enough reserve juice in the battery bank, so. See in here what I need to do if you could see that I uh, there's you know there's indicator lights that come on here's the uh, here's the 1500 watt inverter and there's indicator lights inside there's one for the 1300 or the 300 so a 300 watt pure sine wave inverter and a 1500 watt modified sine wave and I have a little switch in here that operates the voltmeter. But what I need to remind myself is I've got to get some indicator lights on the outside of this box that'll you know that'll glow green like that when the inverter's on uh, to remind me because when this thing shut down, I don't know if you can see there's a there's like a little glow there. Um, that you can see at night. I don't know if that's showing through. The light from that is glowing through the yellow uh, material of this box. But, you know, you wake up in the morning and you're getting packed up and you're, you know, closing down camp. It, that's when I forget to open this up and shut off the inverters. So, that's something I got to do at some point 
you know, th this year so I don't keep doing this. Here's my solar charge controller. My NOCO Genius. For AC input, if I want to plug this in to AC, and then the uh, the two inverters are in there, and the batteries are down below. Down below is a five, 35 amp hour AGM uh, batteries linked in. Parallel. Another thing on my agenda to to troubleshoot or fix uh, or I don't I don't even know what I don't know what the solution will be, but if anyone knows anything about this, ever since I put the solar panel up on the roof, which is a hundred watt solar panel, it's up on that rack. Uh, as soon as I did that, I can now no longer get uh, a CB radio signal in here and I have a little portable you know Baofang handheld ham radio and uh, when I'm inside here I don't get signal for that either if you know I use that to get like NOAA, NOAA weather radio and uh, you know I have a I have a CB radio installed in the dash in this vehicle and and it the the solar panel is interfering with the CB radio and that's another thing I got to troubleshoot. If anyone has any recommendations or they've experienced that, the only thing I could find is you know, on some forums was, uh, you know, boat boats dealing with it. You know, a lot of guys that have like uh, sailboats, things like that, they have solar panels, and I and I I've read some things where it can affect, you know, their marine radios and things like that. But um, so I've got that issue solar panel interfering with uh, CB and ham radio signals.